Thank you, Honourable Member. The Honourable Member for Calgary, Mountain View. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. A pleasure to speak on this historic bill near and dear to all our hearts, in particular two Liberal members, that of Laurie Blakeman and Kent Hare, who in this legislature fought long and hard to put LGBTQ interests on the legislative agenda. And last year, this House, to its credit, rose as one to say that in Alberta, as a fundamental principle, as a matter of public policy, all persons are equal. I was encouraged when watching the Honourable Minister pursue this mandate, which, as he has shared with us today, is now being implemented by most school boards in the province. However, it is the most in the Minister's statement which causes me concern. Most school boards accepting the laws in Alberta isn't enough. Safe environments for all children, not for most children, is the order of the day. It's not enough that most Albertans are equal. I understand there are significant challenges facing the Minister. Even greater are the challenges of the LGBTQ youth. Not everyone in Alberta understands the incredible difficulty that face these young people in school, the suicide rates, the bullying, self-rejection, and mental anguish and addictions in many cases because of being different and being judged to be different. Nonetheless, members of the LGBTQ community have fought for too long and too hard to accept anything less than the full implementation of the government's regulations. The near-unanimous vote in this House was a clarion call for change in Alberta, and I, for one, will be watching to ensure that the spirit and the letter of the law are experienced by all children, past and pre present and future, who deserve our respect and our protection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.